Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today's tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to remove the RAM on a HP DV2000. And you can either remove the RAM, replace the RAM, or upgrade the RAM. Uh, this tutorial will show you how to do uh, identify the RAM, get to that point, and do what you need to do with it. So, let's begin. The first thing we want to do is make sure that there's no power source plugged into the laptop. You don't want any power when you're working on the laptop. Also, I leave them, once they're powerless, I let them just sit for a good 15 minutes just to make sure anything else is out of it. You could also press and hold the powered button just to make sure no juice is left in, but, you know, I just let it sit. It doesn't bother me. I'm not in any rush. Also, make sure the battery is not plugged in. Of course, you know that if there's no power, um, coming from the power source, you don't want any a, a battery to be unplugged in as well. So, remove the battery and the power source. Let it sit for 15 minutes. Come back and work on the system. So, we need to find out where the RAM is located. And the HP DV series, pretty much the 2000, the 2500, the 6000, the 9000, they're all pretty much designed and engineered the same way. Um, I found it very easy that everything is pretty much accessible through the bottom of the system. I mean, it even has pictures for us, so they make it s extremely simple for us to replace, remove, or upgrade the RAM. So we turn the system over, looking at kind of like the, the bottom here, we can see that there's several plates, one, two, and three plates. I'm guessing this is going to be the hard drive, and I'm certain that that is actually the drive just by looking at the size of it. This looks like it's going to be Wi-Fi or something else, and right here, with two screws, and guess what? It has a little picture here for us, identifying that it is RAM. So that we know is our RAM compartment. So we have two screws we need to remove. I'm going to use my fancy little drill here, make it easy and cool. There's screw one, screw two. And if I want to really make it look cool, I'll use my little Isesimo tool just to pry, pop open this panel. Just like that. Very easy. Alright, so we have two RAM slots here, DIM A, DIM B. Pull on the sides of those two um, kind of levers that are leaving it locked in place. If you pull them outwards, you'll feel the RAM pop out. If you have fat fingers like mine, I'm sorry, it's difficult. I know you can use a pry tool or something, but I mean, eventually I'll get them out. Here's the RAM. 32-bit um, operating system should support no problem with the 4 gigabytes of RAM. 64-bit, uh, if it supports, it should get 6 to 8 gigs. You want to double check that by going to Crucial's website. That's crucial.com. Type in the make and model of the system, and it should tell you what's the maximum amount of RAM you can actually install on the computer. So here's the RAM compartment. You have the new RAM, the replacement RAM, or you can remove the RAM here. If you want to reinstall the RAM, you want to line up the notch, and I'll try to get a good shot there. That little notch right there, line it up to this right here. Once you fit it, once you feel it fit in place, just snap it back in place. Very simple. I'm going to put the back panel plate back on there. Make sure it fits just in, fits in right just like so. Go ahead and um, oop. I'll use the screwdriver because that one is being a little difficult. And there it is. That simple. If you guys, again, I'm sorry, in this video I've shown you how to remove replace and or upgrade the RAM on an HP DV2000 series. It's pretty much going to be the same thing for the 6000 and 9000, but I believe I have some videos for that on our channel. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comment section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. Do me a favor, show your support and subscribe to our channel. Um, we're also on Facebook. Come come by, say hi to us. It's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. Show your support. We really appreciate that. And also follow us on Twitter. That is twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. And if you want, you can check out our website. That's www.itconflict.com. 
we have a blog on there, and we post every uh, couple posts a week, if, if well, when we have time. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please, guys, leave them there. Uh, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Again, my name is Eric with IT Conflict, and thanks again for watching another one of my tutorials. Have a good one.